Have you spent countless hours trying to memorize the vocabulary of your target language, be it Deutsch, Francais, Ruski, or Nihongo, only to freeze up and make a fool of yourself when it's time to use it? Jag har studerat det här ordet hundra gånger, men jag kommer ändå inte ihåg det. Γιατί ξέρω να λέω στρουθοκάμιλος, αλλά δεν μπορώ να πω κανένα πρόβλημα. Α, εφόη ταμπον, ουσε καβερε μας αβακότ. Memorization mistakes are killing your dreams of fluency. But, non preoccuparti, I've got what you need to help you succeed. Ready to change the way you approach vocabulary learning? Noto zatrename. Mistake number one, too much vocab, too little content. Tentar memorizar palavras é como tentar alimentar o cérebro à força. Não é nada fácil. We've been taught to read, listen, repeat, cross our fingers, and voila, maybe, just maybe, we've learned something. But our brains do not work that way. In fact, trying to learn words deliberately is like trying to stuff food into your own throat. Your beautiful brain needs content to recognize and develop patterns. Memorizing words is a subconscious process, not a conscious one. Getting exposed to a language is like eating, something we do consciously, while memorizing words is like digesting that food. It is handled by the body and the subconscious. So please, please stop trying to memorize, aka force feed your brain, and start consuming more content in the language. Будь как американец и смотри больше телевизора. Ha! I urge you to stop thinking about how many words you know or have learned. Instead, ask yourself two relevant questions. One, are you consuming content you enjoy? And two, does roughly 20% of that content contain new words, expressions, and phrases? Porque eso es lo que verdaderamente va a marcar la diferencia. Stop counting words and start consuming content you enjoy. Aim for content with at least 20% new vocabulary that keeps your brain engaged and growing. And growing means knowing. Ya yo. Mistake number two. Do not memorize. Understand. Se memorizzare parole funzionasse, sarei un vocabulario ambulante in 15 lingue. Some time ago, I was reading a great book called The Art of Focus by Dan Coe. And all of a sudden, I stumbled upon a passage I immediately loved. You do not learn through memorization. You learn through struggle. Mamma mia, che frase. Think about it. How did you learn your native language? Yes, my friend, through struggle, not memorization. Memorizing vocabulary should be the consequence of using the language, not the goal. Engaging with material in your target language is key, and you need to engage with content you can at least partially understand. Make sure that whatever you consume comes with tools that allow you to understand it, to grasp it. If you're reading an article online, make sure you use DeepL or Google Translate to get a bilingual translation of it. If you're reading a book, scan the page with Google Lens and listen to that page in your native language. If you're watching a movie, use subtitles in your target language, native language, or even both with a little something called Language Reactor. Nowadays, the possibilities of creating your own comprehensible language content are literally endless. The goal of using comprehensible and rich content is for you to slightly struggle with it in order to understand it. Every minute spent this way is gold to build your language skills. And remember, it is all about understanding a piece of language, not memorizing it. If you understand the message, you will acquire the words that make up that message. Shift your focus from memorization to comprehension. Engage with language material that you can understand through bilingual format or translation tools of your choice. Read bilingual articles, watch movies with subtitles, analyze podcast scripts, read books, and graded readers. You will be amazed at how much more you retain that way instead of rote memorization. Mistake number three, isolation leads to frustration. Quelle est la différence entre ma liste de mots et ma liste de courses? Aucune, ni l'une ni l'autre ne reste dans ma tête. Back in school, when I was 12, I used to gleefully make lists of individual words in English while my Italian teacher was explaining something else. Shh, don't you ever tell her. That's our secret. Guess what? They never stuck. Words in isolation are hard to remember, but when you learn them in context, it's a whole different story. Isolation leads to frustration rather than memorization. Remember that, my dear language nerds. Compare learning get up in isolation with I like to get up every day at the crack of dawn. Or compare the sky versus I was looking at the beautiful sky of Tenerife at dusk. True story, by the way. Which ones are likely to be more memorable? 
Which ones contain more associations for your brain to make? My point is that learning words in context helps you remember them better by creating mental associations with other elements. Words in isolation will eventually stick if you repeat them a thousand times, but who's got time for that? Not your amazing brain. Instead of isolated words, write down phrases or sentences. The more context you have, the more likely you are to remember forever. Mistake number four, knowing all words all the time. Elk voort willen leren is alsof je een heel buffet probeert op te eten. Je zit snel vol. As you have seen before, every great piece of language material which is just a bit outside of your comfort zone contains some language, vocabulary, phrases, expressions, you do not know and are eager to learn. But trying to learn every single word, every single expression, every single phrase? No way. That's overwhelming. The thing is, the brain naturally discards what it does not find necessary. For example, I know a lot of words in many languages related to language learning. But if you were to ask me about astrology in, say, Svenska, yeah? Swedish, I would stare at you like an idiot. And guess what? I do not need to know those words because they're not relevant to me or my lifestyle. Focus on the words of the matter to you and let the rest go. Less is more. Ask yourself, do I really, really need this word? Is it interesting or relevant for me? Focus on what's useful and let the brain do the rest. Mistake number five, obsession with review sessions. Reviewing vocabulary should not feel like going to the dentist. Necessary, but dreaded. Most people think that the more they review, the better. But here's the truth. If you hate reviewing words, you will stop doing it sooner or later. What does actually work in the short as well as in the long term? Minimal, meaningful review. My single piece of advice is to find what works for you. But don't bore yourself with endless review sessions if that's not your style. Balance your review by adding unintentional and intentional methods. An intentional review means to use the language in real life, while intentional is about sprinkling in some light review to boost retention. Re-listen to podcasts, review your notes once a week, or if you want to take things to the next level, you can try your hand at some of the cool techniques I teach within the Overcoming the Intermediate Plateau course for brief, simple, an effective review. Remember, the goal is to enjoy the process, not dread it. As mean then, Barataib. Don't let those five memorization mistakes ruin your language learning experience. Are you making any of those mistakes right now? Or have you in the past? Let me know in the comments below. Ricorda, non è mai troppo tardi per attrezzare la rotta. Want to transform your language learning experience? Check out my free ebook and audiobook titled Avoid These Critical Mistakes and Go From Failure to Fluency. I have left a few links in the description box below this video. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy language learning, and see you in the next video.